Hello guys, how are you? Uh, I'm Eva, I'm personality and talent development psychologist and today I'm going to talk about labeling. So uh, what is labeling? Uh, labeling is basically a process of assigning certain traits or even bunch of traits to other person or to ourselves. Um, it's kind of a mental shortcut. So, um, uh, you know, every day we deal with so many information that our brain try, tr um, tries to simplify it for us. So when we label someone, when we tell about, uh, you know, someone that he's a hero or he's a successful entrepreneur or, uh, you know, he's a, he's a liar or traitor, um, you know, we, uh, mean by that that the person actually you know does possess um, more characteristic more characteristics uh, so it's a, it's a way how to kind of simplify our world um, and uh, you know it might work uh, you know in a positive and in a negative way uh, like many things. Um, so uh, the positive labeling, you know, it consists of saying about someone that, you know, the person, uh, he is a high achiever, uh, he's a good student, or, uh, you know, he's a good son or a good daughter, that can be also a positive label. And then we have negative labels, like, you know, this guy, he's a loafer, or, uh, you know, he's an ignorant uh, traitor, uh, and, uh, you know, this kind of stuff. Um, and, um, you know, the mechanism that, uh, that's involved in labeling, it's often called uh, self-fulfilling prophecy. Um, and how it works is actually that when we label someone, uh, we tend to behave in a way that um, you know corresponds with that label. So if we uh, say so about about someone that um, you know he's a, uh, he's a hero, we kind of tend to write that down on a post-it and kind of sticking it to that person's forehead, and then um, we behave like that person is a hero. Uh, and it we might behave like that, you know, despite the fact that the person, you know, might be, uh, might be, you know, someone else. Um, and this, uh, you know, our behavior uh, creates uh, a, a reaction on uh, the other side. Um, so that person tends to behave, uh, you know, in a way we treat that particular person. So if it's a positive label, uh, you know, if we say about someone that, uh, you know, this person is a hero, it, that, you know, that's a very good badge. Um, you know, that, that's a very good, um, a uh, very good label. Uh, so that person, um, you know, tries to maintain it, tries to behave in a way that, uh, you know, corresponds with that hero label. So he tends to be brave, uh, he tends to have uh, high standards, um, you know, he tends to have, um, you know, a certain set of values, etc. And that person behaves in a very positive way. But it goes also the other way around. That means if we label someone, um, you know, with a, with a negative sign, with a negative patch, um, uh, that person might uh, behave in a negative way. Maybe you know it from school. You know, maybe you had um, a teacher who labeled someone or even you, uh, you know, as uh, a lazy student. And, uh, you know, it wasn't true. And you try to convince that person uh, that it's not true. The thing is that when someone forms uh, an opinion, um, you know, he tends to stick to it. You know, we as people tend to stick to our opinions because we try to be consistent. So in this case, um, it might be very hard to convince someone that you don't deserve that 
negative label. And if you're not able to prove that person wrong, you know, then you might eventually give up and start to behave in correspondence with that, uh, with that negative label. So, uh, what to do about positive and negative labels you give yourself? Um, so, positive uh, labels, you know, they work really great when you need to, uh, you know, cheer yourself up or when you want to help yourself to achieve uh, certain goals. Um, you know, give yourself positive labels as much as you can. Uh, so uh, there's one exercise for you. Write down everything you like about yourself. Write down everything you think you're good at. And then create some positive labels, right? Um, write them down and, uh, you know, don't be shy to stick them to yourself. And uh, you can also create some affirmations based on your positive labels. So you can create your own personal mantra, right? Like, I'm a good person who always cares for other people and is interested uh, in, you know, in their struggles and tries to help. Um, so this is way how you can use uh, positive labels. Um, and then there, there are also uh, these negative labels. And we also try to, um, you know, award ourselves with some negative labels. So what to do about them? Um, so what you can do is, you know, to identify these negative labels, you know, to kind of, uh, you know, take them and translate them into a specific behavior. That means that if your you know, negative label is lazy, um, you translate it into a uh, specific behavior. How does it look like when uh, you are uh, lazy, right? So is it that you, uh, you know, you prefer to take a lift even though you can take stairs? So that's very specific, and if you want to change it, it's easier to change specific behavior than your trait. It's uh, you know it's easier to uh, to change that um, you know to change the fact you're not taking the stairs even if you can, than you know changing the whole uh, trait, the whole lazy uh, lazy thing, the whole lazy person. Right. So if you want to get rid of your negative label, just, you know, write down how does it look like? Uh, how do you behave when, you know, you're wearing this uh, particular label and then try to come up with some very specific actions, you know, what to do instead of your negative behavior. Okay, and then you have a plan, you know, next time you feel like, you know, um, uh, just playing your uh, negative, uh, negative uh, label, um, you know, do, uh, you know, something opposite instead. Okay, so if you want to uh, talk about your positive or negative labels to me, just let me know. Uh, feel free to share uh, what are your negative and what are your positive uh, labels. Um, and if you want to discuss this with me, uh, then, uh, you know, I'll be glad to help. So it was nice talking to you. Have a great day and I'll see you around. Bye.